Well, hello everyone, and tonight, just for you, we're going to make something very special from this humble pear. We're going to make a really decadent dish that you could have a, an evening party. Now, it, it's so easy to make. It's, um, we'll call it uh, pears in a red wine sauce. Uh, stick with me, and we'll make them. Here are our ingredients for our spiced red wine. Obviously, a large glass of red wine, a large glass of water, some lemon juice, some cinnamon, four tablespoons of caster sugar, four of these little cloves, can you see those? Four of those because it's, they're quite powerful, so you won't need any more than that. So let's get cooking. this to boil then reduce the heat and let it simmer until it starts to reduce down and turn a bit syrupy. Now firstly we'll start with our pears, we'll take this one and uh, we're going to peel it. We'll leave the stalk on there and we'll cut the box the bottom of the pear nice and as straight as we can get it, a bit like that, then we can stand it up in the uh, dish when it goes into the oven. So I'll see you back when they're all done. Now we put these into the oven, gas mark for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes and um, if you remember, baste them from time to time. Okay, so let's make a start on our homemade custard, a very easy homemade custard. First of all, I'll tell you that uh, we need one and a half uh, tablespoons of corn flour, two large eggs, 100 grams of caster sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, try and use extracts and not essence, because essence isn't the genuine thing, and 400 millilitres of whole milk. So let's um, start with our custard. In a large pan, we can pour in our milk. Bring this up to just below boiling point. Meanwhile, in a large bowl, we can put our corn flour. Sugar two eggs, and vanilla extract. Mix these together. Now we can take our hot milk mixture and slowly pour it onto the egg mixture. Keep this whisked all the time. Transfer this back into the pan. Then place this back onto the hob with a nice gentle heat until it starts to thicken and turn into your lovely delicious custard. Well done it folks, look at this beautiful custard. And 
ideas to just about the right amount of sweetness that could go with any pudding. But no, it's going on braised pears, braised in spicy red wine sauce. Well, didn't those pears turn out really, really well? Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Please leave any comments down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And uh, I'll see you folks next time. Bye.